Tomorrow will be making educational robots since they formed in around 2010. And what they do in the creative play space is pretty amazing. I mean, they make actual robots. It all started with a robotic ball and then grew into multiple products, apps, and a real connection with educators through STEM, helping students with disciplines in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Schools right across Australia are using these products on a daily basis to learn about robotics and coding using their amazing imaginations to make the balls do more than even the creators ever intended. Sphero has also enjoyed partnerships with massive brands like Disney, where they designed a whole range of working droids based on the Star Wars franchise. That was my first introduction to Sphero when I purchased the BB-9E ball droid that featured in The Last Jedi and was basically the evil mirror version of the heroic BB-8 soccer ball droid. The way it interacted with you, even without the use of the special app on the phone, gave the product life. And just by holding it, you can tell it's made with quality parts and built to last. So I got more than a little excited when the parcel arrived from Sphero for unboxing. Inside was the new Sphero mini kit based on my favourite sport, football or soccer, depending on where you are from or even just what you prefer to say. The lightweight ball is a repackaged Sphero mini, so it's roughly one third the size of the BB-9E droids. And in the box comes the ball, the USB charging cable and a pack of eight tiny coloured cones so you can practice drills and set up trick shots. The smaller ball is a great idea, especially for kids who can just slip the ball into a pocket or bag when off to play at a friend's house. The larger cousins are pretty portable, but not pocket portable like this. The design of the ball is that classic black and white hexagon that you see on soccer balls. I discovered that you need to pull the cover off the ball to charge it. It comes off pretty easily, and I'd assume that this is also a great feature for if they decide down the track to do a deal with FIFA or Adidas, so you could just buy official skins based on famous ball designs. Uh, Not saying they're doing that, just that if I was them, that's what I'd be doing. In the Play app, the controls take some getting used to. There's a small dot light that lets you know which direction you're going, and depending on the surface you're on, you'll find it easier or harder to manoeuvre around. The slippery table surface caused some issues with spinning, but when I spun off onto the short carpeted floor... I had full control and was ready to be a robotic version of Cristiano Ronaldo. Some would argue that after seeing one of his press conferences, he's already the robotic version, but his skill on the pitch is unmatched, so we'll let him off. It's fun coming up with games and ways to use the Sphero Mini Soccer. Weaving in and out of the cones is a great starter to get you used to the control of the device, but then you'll find yourself quickly evolving into kick mode, which lets you control ball spin and strength to perform free kicks and penalties. There's an extra pack you can buy with goals, etc., but you can just as easily put household items to use to create obstacles and goals. There's a feature in play to use your robot as a game controller as well, so you can play their version of asteroids or car racing that sit inside the app. This is good fun, but not the main function you would get one for. Under settings, you can see that you can adjust the color of the light projected from inside the ball. This is down to the personal preferences and will help your robot stand out when there's multiple devices in play. Uh, Here you can also adjust device speed, which is a good idea to drop right down when you're first learning to control, then gradually raise it up. Face Drive is a feature that lets you control the device using the camera on your phone. It's driven by your expressions and is super silly, but at the same time, amazingly intelligent. Scream Drive lets you steer with the on-screen controller, but the more noise you make, the faster you'll go. I'd avoid telling the kids about that mode at all costs. Probably my favourite mode is the most educational, and that's so out of character, but this robot really makes learning fun. Block mode is in the Play app, and it lets you block out the movement of the robot using different direction instructions. You can start by setting the dot point for your direction, then add the various block directions, or even choose different colours to change to throughout your experiment. Set up a bunch of obstacles, plan out your movement, and then press play and watch the magic happen. This is an even more simplified version of what you'll find in the Sphero Edu app, so if you want the control that's more coding-focused, I'd suggest using that.
This technology is incredible. The design is flawlessly elegant, especially when you remove the outer soccer ball layer to charge and see the inner workings. That's so important for young kids who want to know how and why things work and the way they do. As more and more schools adopt this kind of service for STEM learning, it's great that there is an entry-level package like this that won't break the bank and provide every child with access to robotics in a fun, entertaining and educational way. Part of the real joy with a product like this is watching how everyone chooses to use it in unique and creative ways. I'll give you the hot tip too. There'll be a few of these under trees this Christmas, so I'd get in quick to get one. The recommended retail price is $89.95, but I have seen them as low as $69, so shop around. (laughs) 